Hello and welcome to my penetration testing career pass bundle. My name is Muhammad Atif. I am an information security consultant and a senior penetration tester with more than 20 years of experience managing IT security and penetration testing projects. I am also a certified instructor with more than 20 courses published, 14 of them are bestseller courses. Now let me explain to you what is the objective of this penetration testing career pass bundle. My main objective is to let you get a penetration testing job in a specific amount of time. Now, if you do a small research on the internet about information security, uh, or I'm sorry, penetration testing uh, salary, you will find that most of the penetration tester are getting a good amount of salary. It's usually between 88,000 and 100,000 per year, which is a very good salary. So they are getting paid very well. Then if you do another search about the amount of opening for penetration testing in different jobs website, you will find that there is a lot of requirement for penetration tester in the market today. And you can do the search yourself. Now here is the question, how can I get a job as a penetration tester? Should I only get certified? And that's it, then I can apply for any job. Getting the certification is quite important, but it's not enough. Because most of the curriculum that you're going to find on, uh, on the market today, online or in instructor-led classes, are more as general ethical hacking and penetration testing uh, training. They are not really dedicated the training in a way that you can utilize those knowledge in the real life. That's why a lot of people get certified. They spend effort and spend money and spend time and they get the certificate CH or offensive security or CompTIA pen test plus any of those certificate. But they will get shocked because they will not be able to find a job. They can go for an interview, but since they didn't actually did any penetration testing themselves so it will be a kind of problem to get the real job so holding the certificate is quite important but it's not enough because certificate will not give you the real penetration testing in real environment experience and this is what this bundle will be doing this is an interactive bundle i mean i'm going to give you a plan in a specific amount of time and I'll be following up with you phase by phase until you end up with a job. So here, I'm not promising only the certificate. Certificate I promised in my previous courses. And you can check the amount of people that I help get certified. But this is a different kind of training where I'm going to help people to get the job, not just to get the certificate. But Again, this is not a replacement of the certificate. I mean, certificate is like getting a license. So sometimes you have a license, you can drive, but you are not getting the real driving experience yet. And this is what I'm going to try to do in this bundle with the plans that I'm going to provide. Now, let me talk about the objective. Then let's talk about the different phases that will let you end up with a job. So, the objective of this career pass will be few point. Fine, I will let you get the right training. Actually, the main objective is to let you get a job. And this is what I can promise you, is that if you follow my plan, within from 8 to 10 weeks, you will be able to get a penetration testing job. How can you do that? How can I get a job? What, are, what is missing to let you get a job? To guarantee to get a job as a penetration tester, first you need to get the right training. There is a lot of courses in the market, but you need to get the proper training that will help you. Then you need to get certified. Most of the ad 
who are requesting penetration tester, they will always suggest that if you are going to apply for this job, it's better to have one of the well-known certificate. And by the way, there is a lot of certificate in the market today as well. There is CEH, there is Offensive Security Certified Professional, there is a CompTIA pen test, there is a, some certificate related to MILE 2. So there is a lot of penetration testing certificate. Which one will have more value? Then after finishing that, you need to have a real life experience. Okay, I learned in, I learned in the course how to do a penetration testing. But if I get assigned a real project, how can I do it? This is not easy, by the way, or it required some kind of experience. How can I write a proposal? How can I write a project plan for a penetration testing? How can I identify my scope? What kind of input I need from my customer or from my manager? How to do the penetration testing in a secure way that will not affect any production or will not affect any... Uh, uh, work environment so this is how you will get to work as a professional penetration testing not just by going to an interview saying that you hold the ceh so what maybe you know the basics but do you know how to manage a penetration testing project because you know this is a critical kind of business so i'm going to show you the real life experience practically how we are doing everything from a business perspective from start to end what kind of real tool we are using? Definitely, we are not using an underground tools, but we have our own professional license tool that we are using, how to write down the report, how to manage the project. So this phase will be very, very important for you because this is the kind of question that you will get inside uh, uh, any interview. Then I will help you with building a resume and a proper LinkedIn profile. Usually, when we are hiring penetration tester, we are looking for some keywords inside their uh, uh, CV or resume. So I'm going to show you or I'm going to share with you some of the penetration tester uh, CV, which will help you to build a professional one. And I'm going to highlight the points that you need to focus on. Same for the LinkedIn profile. What do you need to write? What are the keywords that should be in the LinkedIn profile in case they are looking for a penetration tester you will be showing at the beginning? And finally, I'm going to give you some important tips and tricks that you need to follow if you're going to sit for any interview. So this will be my career path objective. Now let's see what will be the plan. But before going through the plan and the training that you're going to get, I need to tell you that the main two points that I'm going to try to provide in this bundle will be to have this uh, 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 objective or to have the result within from 8 to uh, 10 weeks. So I'm looking that if you follow my plan, within from 8 to 10 weeks, you will be able to apply for penetration testing jobs. And most probably you will get this job. Because from my experience, and I managed a lot of penetration and uh, penetration testing and vulnerability assessment projects, and I know what is needed in the market today. The second point that I considered in this training is the cost effectiveness. I don't want you to spend thousands of dollars and not to be sure to get a job. No, it will be very uh, cost effective in a way that I will only suggest the certificate that will help you. Because, you know, sitting for a certificate is not cheap. So which certificate should you choose? I'm going to tell you which one will be valuable for you, which resources you need to get. So I'm going to also consider the effectiveness of the cost, that you don't need to spend that much to achieve your goal. After all, it's an investment, so it needs to be done in a proper way. Now, what will be the plan and how it's going to work? The bundle include few courses. Let's see how we're going to go through them. The first two courses will be the complete ethical hacking version 10 and ethical hacking using Kali Linux from A to Z. The first one, which is the CEH version 10, this is the official curriculum that will allow you to understand ethical hacking as a general concept. In this training, we're going to cover a lot of topic and you will be qualified to sit and pass the CEH exam version 10. My passing rate 
it's around 98%. Most of the people who enroll in this course was able to get the certification easily if they follow my plan and my resources. Very, very important to understand only to use the resources that I'm going to share with you. Otherwise, you're going to get lost with the amount of resources that is in different uh, platforms and different places. So you're going to finish this course first, and then you're going to take another course, which, which is a part of the bundle, which is ethical hacking using Kali Linux from A to Z. This will enhance your skills in Kali Linux. So you will learn SQL hacking a little bit deeper, more advanced, but using the most sophisticated hacking uh, Linux distribution, which is Kali Linux. And also it will qualify you to get the OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional. So those two training will teach you hacking from scratch and will also uh, uh, qualify you to get a certificate. Now, which one you should get as a certificate? Once you finish both of them, you're going to drop me an email. I'm going to give you the communication channel. And then, and then I'm going to share with you the resources that you need to pass the exam because this is different resources. So I'm going to share with you the resources that you need to pass the exam and the value of each certificate and my recommendation. Because the resources that I'm going to share with you will qualify you not just to pass those two exams, but even to pass one more exam. This will be sent to you by email. So after this phase, that should take around four weeks, you will be qualified to sit for the exam. You will get the knowledge that you need about ethical hacking or penetration testing in different area and you will be ready to pass and get certified also during the time that you're going to take this training i'm also going to send you a challenge so it's not like you will just watch videos and that's it you will get different kind of uh, uh, task to do I will send you some vulnerable virtual machine and ask you to, how, uh, to hack it as an advanced technique once you finish them. So I'll try to practice you in a more advanced way uh, on ethical hacking using the skills that you're going to learn on those two courses. After doing that, you're going to need to drop me an email on ch at infosec4tc.com and this will be our main communication channel. So you're going to drop me an email telling me that you finished the first phase. Then I will first drop you some challenge just to make sure that you are comfortable with the practical part. Then I'm going to send to you the material that you need to read before sitting for the exam that will guarantee that you're going to pass the exam from the first attempt. And once you pass the exam, then you can start the second training, which is the penetration testing or ethical hacking project from A to Z. This is actually a business training, not a technical training. So in this training, you will learn how to do a real penetration testing project. From the initiation, how to write a proposal for any company, how to understand what is, uh, why it's important for any company to do a penetration testing. If you get hired, how to write the project charter, how to write the scope, what will be your scope of penetration testing, how to write a proper penetration testing plan. Then you're going to learn how to do the penetration testing itself and how to write down the report, which is the most important part of a penetration testing. If you know penetration testing and ethical hacking very, very well, but you don't know how to write a report, is useless because you have to end up with a report, giving it to a customer or to a manager, telling him, what was your finding and what is your recommendation to solve them? So I'm going to show you how to do that in a very, very professional way from my 20 years of experience doing that. So after doing that, after going through this course, I will, you will also send me an email and then I'm going to send you a full bundle of real document and step-by-step -step guide on how to do it from a business perspective. After finishing that, this will be a critical uh, time where you need to specify a specialization in a way that most of the penetration tester usually have 
different kind of specialization. You may be no good in everything, but still you're gonna to need to have your own specialization. So in this phase, after finishing the penetration testing project, you're gonna to need to focus on one of the area. It's good to learn about all kinds of penetration testing, web application and network and wireless, but realistically, most people are hiring according to the specialization. So after finishing those tracks, maybe you're gonna see, yes, I learned everything, but I need to be specialized in web application. You're gonna drop me an email and I'm gonna send you the step-by-step -step guide focusing on the web application penetration testing or maybe network or maybe social engineering or wireless. So this will be the high or the, uh, the like uh, the specialization phase where you're going to select one area according to your background or according to what you are comfortable doing and then I'm going to send you the resources related to that because because when you write down in your CV it's better to have your own specialization yes you are a certified penetration tester or a certified SQL hacker but it's better to have your own specialization so I will provide you with the areas that you, you would like to dive deep into with more advanced technique and tools and methodology on how to do a penetration testing related to that. After that, once we finish this phase, some of you, I cannot promise all, but some of you, I can get them involved in real projects. I work in some project of penetration testing and sometimes I need some additional resources that can help me, some freelancing. So I can get you involved in a couple of projects, but also this will be very limited seats for people. I can give them some assignment to do, or I can let them follow up with my project without disclosing any, or without any disclosure for any customer information. But I can give you some of my real life project life, or I can get you involved in some real, uh, Project. This will be for people who are like doing a good progress or because we're going to be following up with each other. So I'll be knowing people who are doing very well and they need to get involved in real project to get real experience. So this will be a phase where I'm going to select few people from the bundle where they can get involved in some of my projects, penetration testing project. The final phase will be to get you ready for the interview by preparing your CV after finishing the tracks and preparing your LinkedIn profile. And as I mentioned, there is some keywords that every company who are looking for hiring a PT is looking for. So I will give you the templates that you need to fill and I will give you the main like structure of the CV and LinkedIn profiles that you need to have to be ready for uh, applying for penetration testing job. Uh, in this bundle, I'm going to do a webinar once per month just to answer all your questions, give you some guidelines, give you some updates. So as I told you, the bundle will, th this bundle will not be just static courses where you're just going to watch a few videos and sit for an exam and that's it. No, it will be very interactive. And we're going to have our own communication channel by email or we're going to have a closed Facebook group only for the member of this bundle, people who are sitting and uh, people who are planning to get a penetration testing job. And even we're going to have a closed uh, 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 WhatsApp group uh, for sharing the knowledge and sharing the experience. So we're going to have different uh, communication channel that will confirm that after taking the bundle and following the plan, which is the most important, Following my plan, you will be able to find a penetration testing job within from 8 to 10 weeks. Best of luck.